Hey Scorpio, welcome to your weekly Zodiac Tarot reading. This reading is for December the 18th to the 24th. I apologise, we didn't have readings last week. I have been literally in bed dying. I have had the worst cold, so apologies um, for that. Uh, before I get into your cards, I just want to kind of say what is initially coming to me in regards to you is I keep getting the song. Um, Give them the old razzle dazzle, razzle dazzle them. You know, like that's the song. And I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention. You're going to be getting dressed up. You're going to be going out. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. And there's something else that I'm feeling for you. It's, and it's in regards to design. You're going to start designing or you, there's some sort of like energy that is going to come into a design element for you. You're going to be designing something and you're going to be you know like the energy is going to be flowing in this area you're designing something um regardless of what it is there's going to be a lot of success with this and you're going to end you're going to really enjoy this and it's going to be a successful design um and you're going to be taken out as well you're going to be taken out. If anybody invites you anywhere, go. Go to everything. You know, whether it's um, functions and parties where there's going to be lots of people go. Whether it's just a one-on-one one -on -one kind of dinner, go. Because it's a very good time for you socially. Meeting new connections. Meeting new people. Because this is going to lead to new opportunities for you. You get and you are very magnetic at the moment. You're getting a lot of attention and admiration visually. Um, so yeah, I would, that's what I'm initially getting for you guys. I'm going to get into your cards now. I have pre-shuffled the deck, so I'm just going to get straight into it and see what comes out for you for the week ahead. We have got the three of wands. We've got the oh the death. We've got, let me move my foot. My foot is getting stuck to the washing machine. <laughs> um, we've got the nine of wands. We've got the chariot. A lot of movement going on here. A lot of moving. moving and this is so you. So moving through the shadows. Moving with shadows and light. Like It gives me very magical vibes, this. It gives me like this kind of magical sort of vibes mm, let's see okay the hierophant a lot of major arcana coming out a lot in the minute the page of swords the five of swords the two of swords again it's like problem solving as well it's a lot of problem solving for signs this week six of swords the King of Cups. These all the kings are popping out as well. The Eight of Swords. The Two of Wands. Big decisions for you, guys. The Four of Cups. Okay, you've got to make a choice, guys. You've got to make a choice. There is some sort of healing that's happening for you, but decisions, you're creating your karma we've got the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck okay so you're you're waiting for something to come in you're waiting for something to shift and change you're wanting something to evolve to transform to change for you okay you're really wanting it you're wanting it too hard you're wanting it too hard at the moment. Um, you are creating blockages for yourself by wanting it so much. You're actually, I feel like you are actually telling, making it very apparent to the universe, telling them that you've not got this, that you're lacking this. And that is creating a blockage because the universe is like, okay, well, you're lacking it. You're lacking it. Um, and it's getting a bit frustrating for you. And there's certain things that you need to do that you're not doing. Okay. You're ignoring them and you're not doing them. Um, which is causing a delay also. You're going to be doing a bit of shadow work. Um, I feel. 
and you're actually going to be again physically moving or physically you're going to be yeah physically moving i don't even just mean that like moving like moving house or something you're going to be physically displaying what you need to be doing internally you're going to be physically moving from one space to another you're going to be doing shadow work and healing and bringing to light what you have ignored bringing into balance you're gonna be very productive and take control and charge you're going to gain a lot of wisdom and unlock certain keys. You're going to get certain keys and realizations with this. You're going to have realizations of self-sabotage, your thinking, your mentality, your self-sabotaging. There's certain things that you're going to recognize in yourself that are self-sabotaging that you haven't recognized before, but you're not even going to have the solutions of how not to do that right now. What's going to happen is you're go with this movement that you're going to be making, you're going to be going into a new space, both physically, you will actually physically start to visit a new space, or maybe you will actually physically move. Um, but it's a reflection of what's going on internally. And what's going on internally is you're going into your emotions. You're going, you're recognizing certain aspects of your mentality. It's a beautiful thing that's happening here. Because it's like, to unblock your energetics, you're recognizing certain things in regards to your mentality, but you haven't got the logical solutions for it. You're going into your emotions to sort out the self-sabotage mentally, okay? So, it's very interesting because this is also gonna play out in the physical with um, a person for you, a, a romantic interest that you have, okay? That you are gonna feel stuck about you're either going to be thinking a lot about them. You might go and visit them. You might actually go and visit or they might come and visit you. A person, a romantic love interest that you have. Um, that you are mentally stuck upon. Again, you have like certain self-sabotaging thoughts about you. There's certain aspects of your mentality that blocks you from being with this person or being able to receive them or developing something with them and there's certain things that that you're going to work through you're going to work through with this person in the physical to try and shift and unfuck your mind basically your mentality the way that you think you think in a bit of a harsh way you think too logically or strategically you think too left-brained okay, at the minute with certain things, you need to kind of, which is why you're creating energetic blockages, you need to kind of go a little bit into your feminine energy, especially with thinking, like your thinking is very masculine dominated, and I feel that is why there's this masculine, this king of cups energy, this masculine energy of emotion that's coming in to soften the masculine mentality that you have, there's going to be something that happens there with this um, to try and unblock you in regards to your mentality. And you're very stuck upon this person. Um, and there might be a choice for you to either go somewhere on your own or go in a different direction, which takes you away from this person or to go towards this person, but you're afraid to go towards this person. Mentally, you're afraid. But then if you go away from this person, it's going to keep you in this thought process. And again, it's like this ongoing battle that drives you insane. It drives you mentally insane. And it keeps you in a feeling of emotional lack. You're going to get offered an opportunity. It could be 
like a relocation or it could be a job or it could be something okay work related or career related or you know a whole change of life or you're gonna get offered an opportunity the other option for you is to connect with this person and it's both for the same sort of time so you're going to need to make a decision of what you want to do let me just get some advice for you in regards to this of what you should do well they all just want to come out okay bottom of the deck we've got the hermit you have to go within yourself um we've got the world we've got the five of wands the ten of swords i feel like this is talking about ending ending energetic conflicts and mental exhaustion and defeat we've got the queen of wands go into what what makes you feel passionate what makes you feel alive what sparks you we've got here the nine of pentacles the seven of pentacles the page of cups You need to feel secure in yourself. I feel like there's options here for you. I feel like the advice for you for what for where you're at and how you would feel comfortable would be to focus on your own stability. What makes you feel good? What makes you feel secure, safe, grounded? attractive creative you need to go into your creative energy a bit here um i feel like you might choose to focus on your own stability and abundance we have here the page of cups so i feel like yes visit the emotion the emotional side but slowly and surely like little by little that feels that feels good i feel like it's just talking to me about focusing on yourself at this minute in time we've got here the ace of swords so i feel like there's going to be new communication new messages um and a page of pentacles things are going to you're going to move very slowly and the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck things are going to be very slow in regards to you move in forwards with the king of cups king of cups wants to go full in with you i feel like you are very cautious i feel like you're going to take your time or you should take your time but don't just not move forwards just go through slowly but focus on yourself focus on how you feel about yourself here and and if a new job offer comes, a new opportunity comes, take it. Take it. It may take a bit more time. It may take longer, but you're going to learn something. It's going to, it's going to, you're going to have a tower moment. It's going to bring in a big change for you. But I feel like it might be a bit more comfortable through work than through this person. We've got the emperor here. I feel like you're going to meet someone maybe like a boss sort of figure or somebody that can help you to realize certain things um in a more comfortable way and also to help you get to that emperor status within yourself which will make you feel a lot more comfortable with engaging with the king of cups you'll feel safe doing it you won't feel vulnerable there's a sense of vulnerability i've got the lovers here too you might actually meet someone else. Okay, so if you go in a different direction, especially in regards to work, um, a, a career move or something, or choosing career, you may meet somebody else who's going to, but this person's going to teach you a lot and help you to level up. Okay, and help you to feel stronger. And you will feel stronger. This if you do this this king of cups i don't feel like this king of cups is going to go anywhere this king of cups is then going to go into the queen of swords energy um they're going to realize certain things they're going to acknowledge certain things we've got the ace of wands here they're going to gain some sort of new inspiration you're going to help to trigger them to level up and they're going to actually be a lot more emotionally
they're going to be a bit more emotionally nurturing. Um, I feel like they might do some inner child healing towards their feminine energy. I feel like they're trying to do that in the physical, but I feel like they might be a bit, you might not trust them. You tr don't trust them for a certain reason. Maybe they're a bit love bomby. Um, but they're going to do some, they're going to utilize the King of Cups energy along with the Queen of Swords energy and do some healing. Inner child healing or healing with children, sorting out certain things that are distorted within themselves. So it looks like you and this person are going to just kind of, if you choose this, are going to go separate ways, work with different people to sort out certain things. You're going to go in different directions and, and kind of put this on pause for a while and go and take a chance on something else. You're going to have um, an emperor person come in and help you and help you to become an emperor. And this king of cups that wants to work with you and do some healing is going to go and do some healing of their own um, to clear up some sort of karma and to clear up some sort of issues that they've got, inner child wounds, issues that they have. Um... They may work with themselves with this. They may work with other people. They may work with children in regards to this. But there's some sort of healing that they're doing here. Um, and it's very interesting because I feel like you're, you, you are very much more masculine in your thinking. You're very much more left-brained. This person is, is very much in their feminine energy. They're very much embodying these emotions. But they're also embodying like their feminine mentality so more sort of like right-brained um intuition very intuitive um very communicative as well here they're doing some big sort of healing work internally um and helping others and healing with others but you are it's like you're driven by some sort of success or desire for success here um, and power you're needing to feel powerful you're needing to feel successful um, and that's what's coming in for you because that's something that you feel that you lack um, and, and I feel like you're going to be focusing more on work you're going to choose work and, and this is what it's saying is the best thing for you to do Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Swords, Four of Wands and the Eight of Cups. I feel like you won't be able to have what you what you really want to have until, and justice, until you feel secure in yourself and you feel abundant in yourself and stable in yourself. Because if not, it will be pretend, it will be illusionary. It won't be real and you want something real. You want something that feels real. That's what I've got for you guys. I'm going to leave it there. I hope that is helpful. Let me know in the comments if that's helpful. And yeah, good luck with this. But you will, you're going to work with somebody who is an emperor. You're going to become an emperor. Um, and you will gain the success that you're wanting. You will, you will do it. I think this King of Cups, though, is still always going to be around. And it's like you two are mimicking each other. You're going off to do your work and they start doing their work and, and vice versa. It's like, but they'll still be there. So I'm sure that we'll see this King of Cups energy again in future readings because I feel like there's a journey going on here with them, um, with your emotions. Um, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. If you're interested in personal readings, the link is in the description along with links to my crystal store and also to my TikTok where I do, um, live free one question readings. So feel free to check that out if that interests you. Other than that, good luck and enjoy.